Hi, I'm Vanilla with Photo Focus, and I'm live on location at Photoshop World, where I met up with entertainment photographer and stock photographer Matt Haywood. He's going to sit and talk with us and share a story on how he likes to get away from where the other photographers are while they're shooting to nail some amazing shots. And because he works for Adobe and Adobe Stock, he's also going to give us a little insight on how he used Adobe Stock to, to further his income. We sit back, relax, and enjoy a story from the set. Hey, Matt, welcome. Hey, thank you so much. Good. Now, Matt, recently you shot Radiohead. I did, last week. It's an amazing show. So much fun, yes. Good. Can you give us your little story, back, your backstory about that? I mean, because you're famous for no, for being where the other photographers aren't. That That is my goal, because right now, concert photography specifically, I shoot all forms of entertainment, red carpets and things like that, but I'm based in Seattle, and the primary entertainment scene is music, and so I shoot a lot of music events, and a lot of people love to shoot music events, and so it's not uncommon to find a lot of photographers in the pit. And everybody seems to kind of swarm together and try to get the exact same shot. And I don't want the same shot that 12 other people have. I would just assume, take a chance, go where the action isn't, but be where the photographers aren't. And a lot of times I get pretty lucky and something will happen and you get a unique shot that no one well, else does. This is the unique shot we're yeah, talking man. about. I mean, I love this shot. Explain to me what happened here. So Tom York, he's, he, I mean, if you've ever seen Radiohead, he's pretty moody and dramatic, but he's, he doesn't engage with photographers very often. So he's singing the song called Full Stop. And it's a strong song. And I was having a, a weird week, to be honest. And so the lyrics, he's screaming, you really messed up everything. You really <laughs> messed up everything. So the photographers are all right in front of him. So I went to his right. I was off by myself, had a long, like a 70 to 200 lens and was on him. He's saying, you really messed up everything. And all of a sudden, he opens his eyes. His eyes were closed. He opens his eyes and he turns his head and he just stares right at me. You really messed up everything. I was like, oh my gosh. Yeah. So I snapped and went, oh. And he stared at me. I was like, it was pretty intense I mean, for a minute there. the shot looks absolutely gorgeous. Oh, thank I you. I love how you did that. Now, here's what's really cool. You started as a stock photographer. I right? did, yes. It, it, I've been shooting stock for well over 10 years now and to give my backstory I, I was shooting weddings and I wasn't um, I was I was working in restaurants so and shooting weddings on the side and so I had some clients that um, you know I was getting started and they had low budgets and so I would work out with them if they would sign a model release and, and agree to allow me to shoot to post their images for stock I would give them a discount and so that worked out really well and what's funny is that it's been 10 years probably since I've shot a wedding but those pictures that I shot way back then are still generating income and they've made so much more money than I ever would have made charging full price and so it really has worked out well got me kind of hooked on shooting stock and so when I have free time I set up stock shoots as often as I can and so and I've always done that I, I managed restaurants like I said and that was a you know a full-time job but I always managed to find time it was a good excuse to take pictures of my kids my wife my dog and things of that nature and I'd upload those images and found some pretty good success and then as the years went on I found more success when I became intentional about shooting stock and so eventually I left the restaurant business my wife and I made the decision to take a leap of faith and and walk away after over 20 years and the very next day I was hired by Fotolia.com uh, you know, I, I knew the owner and I contacted him and a position came open that day. So they hired me for customer service. Well, a year later, Adobe acquired Fotolia, <laughs> and which was just like a real, a blessing in oh disguise. my gosh, yeah. yeah. I mean, honestly, it was like, we, we didn't know what was going to happen, right? A big acquisition and we're, you know, but it, they welcomed us with open arms. They were so incredible and Adobe has turned out to be the best company I've ever worked for. And they recognized that I had a strong relationship with photographers because I'm a photographer myself and, and that, I'm passionate. That's what I want to mention. This is really cool. You do work for Adobe mm -hmm. and ironically you work for Adobe Stock. Yes. So when he's talking about the benefits of Adobe Stock, you're not just talking it from, yeah. you know, hey, I work for this company. You're talking it from a photographer's standpoint. I speak the language yep. and, and uh, and so I know what the pain points are for photographers. I recognize that. I know the obstacles and the challenges and I'm able to communicate that. And I, and I can communicate with other photographers that have the same challenges and I can help find workarounds because I found workarounds for myself and I can communicate to Adobe 
and help implement changes. And the, the site, the Adobe Stock Contributor Portal, is constantly evolving and it's growing and getting so much better. I mean, just this week, they made the um, auto keyword tool so great. Oh, I mean, wow. yeah, and so I, I feel like it's, I, I love to communicate that stuff and, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's not perfect, it, you know, and it probably, you know, nothing is perfect in life, right? But that is, um, but we're... Constantly evolving with it. That's yeah, we're looking to now, improve and change. Speaking of that with Adobe Stock, I mean, this image you took, were you hired by the, the, the venue or how did, you, how did you, how were you able to shoot Radiohead? Well, I shoot entertainment in Seattle a lot, and I shoot for radio stations up there. I've got several different um, passages to getting credentials, and gotcha. you know, fortunately, over the years, I built up a pretty good relationship in the music industry, and then also with things like the Seattle Film Festival. I just got contacted from them. I was hired by the Oscars at one point in time to go shoot uh, all of their arrivals for Oscar.com, and so that you know, it's you know, work. It so that's happens how you got. So I built but a re this isn't relationship. This is something you could put on Adobe Stock. That's correct. That's for editorial. That's, that'd be editorial yeah. content. So, so, so. that's something I want to make sure, so people don't think, "Oh, wow, this oh, be yeah, great." Yeah. yeah. So because Adobe Stock has certain things you can and can't put on there. That's right. So it's which, a commercial license with Adobe Stock, and so you need to have, if a recognizable person like Tom York, you, he would need to sign a model release saying, "Hey, you can use this image for exactly. commercial licensing," which is not very likely because. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> that's <laughs> a lively. Idea. But hey, this is incredible. I, I really love over the years looking at your stuff. Oh, um, man. Where can we find out more of your images? Where where can we see more? Well, I mean, I have a website, mattheywardphoto.com. It's Matt with one T, like a doormat. Uh, but also on my Instagram, I'm keeping Instagram up pretty regularly. Yep. And so Matt Hayward Photo, also one T with Matt, but Matt Hayward Photo at Matt Hayward Photo is my Instagram. So check that out, please. I would appreciate that. And Sounds yeah. great. Hey, Matt, thank you so much for taking time out. Oh. I really, really appreciate it. I mean, God, Photoshop world is kicking butt. Oh, my gosh. Um. <laughs> it's been such a great week. Yeah, I really love it out here. You were able to take time out of it. So thank, thank you. you. Well, hey, I'm Vanelli with Photo Focus. Thanks for watching. Bye.